I've been writing a lot for the past two months. The editing process of writing this book is going a lot slower than I'd expected, but I really do want to take my time with it because it's so special to me. When I finished the first draft, it felt like it was this beautiful, delicate little butterfly. You know, it was it was nice to look at, and it, it was it was, just, it was great, but I felt like if I were to tug at the wings, they might come loose, if that makes sense. The story needed more solidity, and a little bit of like a higher understanding of its own purpose, I suppose. And figuring all of that out has just been a journey. It's been really fun, but you know, it's been slow. And throughout all of this, I've been trying to find a writing routine that works for me, which is also a journey. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in how all of that's been going, keep on watching. Good morning. I'm here with my tea and my candle. It is quite early and my husband is sleeping upstairs, so I'm speaking very quietly. I've just been trying to get back into the habit of writing in the sense that I want to write every single day. I've told myself if I write every single day, then at least I'll be like more immersed in the story. Because whenever I don't work on the project, even if it's for like a couple days, it's like harder to get back into. Whereas if I'm in the headspace 24 seven, it's so much easier to actually make progress. So yeah, I'm, I'm waking up like super early before work. But I wanted to update because I've been working on this chapter. I think I mentioned this in the previous writing vlog that I've been changing this character that used to be a family friend into a sort of mafia boss type bad guy. It's been so fun to integrate him into the story and at first it just seems like oh well yeah you just change his personality and his character into this thing but then I was thinking like how does that affect life in the place that they live and what is his connection to all the other characters and like once you start thinking about that like I go into like a rabbit hole <laughs> and, I'm, and now I'm just like I need to know everything. I've created this whole backstory how this character's relationship with the main character and her family's relationship works and it's like there's some history there part of me is a little bit worried that i'm overcomplicating things i think the key is to figure out how much of all this information i need to put into the actual book because i want the reader to feel the weight of the situation but i also don't want to overload the reader with information and make it feel like i'm trying too hard or something i'm just kind of trying to figure out how to do that because i do feel like this or some of this information is important because otherwise my main character's motivations for seeing this criminal dude are kind of lost to the readers otherwise readers are going to be like well why why is she why why now why is she doing why why, 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 why? Hi, so I only had a half day of work today, which was lovely. And so I managed to get writing done. I've been trying to write more consistently, but honestly, like it's been hard. Um, but today I wrote a lot. I got like halfway into this whole new chapter that I'm writing because I don't know if I explained this, but act one used to have nine scenes, but now it has 10 because I'm adding a lot to the story, but I don't want to mess up my like chapter cards. So I've just like, I'll just show you see what happened here <laughs> we've got 4.1 and 4.2 now which just because like this this is like a, a, a sort of like a, a beat that was really necessary that was just missing i'm very happy that it's here now because it um 
I don't know, I'm just adding, the stuff I'm adding is so important. When I think about it now, the story used to be quite empty. And I think that also comes from writing during NaNoWriMo, because writing during NaNoWriMo, you're just trying to get to your word count. So I was just like trying to like go, 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 get through the story. Like I was trying to finish my draft in one month. In a way, taking your time with it is better, but I think I was just so excited. I was just so excited that I was just like, <gasps> now that I'm adding all these little beats here and there. Sometimes I'm just adding like a little bit of like, you know, like a setting or just like a one little paragraph of something, but something that can add so much to the believability of the story. It makes such a big difference. It makes such a big difference. So right now my uh, main character is doing this like, like, she's trying to get something right now and she has to do something very dangerous in order to get it. It's quite like, I wouldn't say action-packed, but it's like, it's quite thrilling, which is fun to write. I feel like my stories are very like internal and like there's not that much action, but this is like some stuff, like this is some stuff I would love to see in a movie someday, you know? Like if this story could be turned into a movie, this is a scene that would look so cool. And one more, okay, one more thing I want to say before I go. I, <laughs> I've been going through some stuff. It made me get the idea for a new story, like a new novel, which is, I, I need to not do that. <laughs> I need to, but like, I, it happened, like I was, I was in bed and I couldn't sleep, which that's always when stories come to me. I kept thinking about like, life. <laughs> I was going through this whole existential crisis thing, right? Why, why, what does, nothing matters, you know, like it was, it was, it was the heavy stuff, right? I got this idea for this really quiet story that could be so beautiful, so simple, but so beautiful. As I was like lying there, I was like, oh, I should really write this down. Cause like so many like things were coming to mind, so many scenes, so many like ideas for the story were coming to mind, so many, I even had like, like full on beautiful, sentences and then i didn't write any of it down and then the next day i tried to write some of it down but like a lot of the like nuance that i was trying to get at that i thought was so brilliant don't remember it Oof, i hate it when that happens and i know i should have written it down but i didn't but on the other hand it's like i shouldn't i shouldn't be focusing on other stories right now i should focus on on this one anyways i'm gonna go have dinner now Good evening. I thought I'd try a new angle. I'm actually uh, trying to kind of learn how to write more on my uh, my iPad. I don't always have this laptop available. Sometimes my husband is on it editing. Sometimes I'm just somewhere else. And it's quite a bulky laptop anyways. I used to use Evernote to just sort of quickly jot down stuff and then I would import it into my Scrivener later because this is apple this is not apple and i didn't want to buy scrivener twice so uh yeah basically the chapter is going well i'm hoping actually to finish it today which is good because i my plan was to finish act one by the end of january like that was my big january goal and like honestly i don't know how i'm gonna do it because i know that the later chapters i don't know how much editing they need so like it might be fine but it might also not be fine i might end up just changing a bunch of stuff and like adding chapters because that's what i have been doing and like i don't know so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take chapter 4.1 and put it into my evernote so that i can go sit on the couch and continue writing from the couch maybe i'll even go downstairs and sit by the fireplace yeah Hi, it's been a while since I picked up a camera. <laughs> I think it's literally been like three weeks at least, a month, oh god. But I have news, I have news. Okay, I, I got a laptop, I got a new laptop and I'm so, so, so happy with it. I finally have like a, like a writing laptop because I, I was writing on like my really old 
gaming laptop, I guess. It's a gaming laptop. I used it to play The Sims mostly in Minecraft. It was really old and it was kind of like clunky. It was super heavy so I couldn't really like pick it up and take it places. I couldn't work from my bed or the couch or anything like that. Whereas this thing is like, you know, it was cheap and you can't do a crazy amount of it. Like I can't do video editing on this laptop. It's my writing laptop. I use it to write. It's been amazing. I have written so much since I got this laptop and I've only had it for like a small week, I would say. My husband needed a laptop. He didn't have any kind of computer since he came over from Japan and he likes gaming so he's using my old laptop now so he can do his stuff while I do my stuff. We can like both do our thing at the same time. This, I just, Oh, writing wise, I can just say that I managed to finally write that one chapter. I've been working on it all week and I think I've got it to a point where I really like it. So I can finally move on to the rest of the story basically. I'm now halfway through act one. I'm gonna try to this week finish scene 4.2 and then I will officially be over halfway of act one. And like once I'm there, I feel like that's kind of like a milestone, like a like a, a checkpoint and I'm just very excited to hit that so I'm now gonna start working on scene 4.2 which used to be just scene 4. This is where my character is meeting some very important characters and so it's like it's a very fun thing to write. It's also a little bit emotional because the first couple chapters we really just spend with our main character. It's because she's quite a loner so we really just spend time with her and um, it's nice because once scene two, no, 4.2 comes in, you know, we get that interaction that you need to propel your story forward and I'm just excited about it. I'm just very, very excited about it. So yeah, on to scene 4.2.